It's Patrick looks, fires an out pattern, nicely timed. Ball is free on the field, not free. Still alive, and who gets it but the toughest guy out there? Baltimore Ravens fans just saw the replay. It was Ed Reed that stuck his head in there and knocked that ball out. First series of the game, he's already making his presence felt. Third down. First down, Roscoe Parrish. Fitzpatrick stands in, intercepted. And this game has changed totally. Ed Reed, the great one, is back. And there's the official announcement, he's back. Well, I guarantee you, Don, in the, in the halftime locker room, Ray Lewis made it very clear to the defense they need to step up. Who is it that steps up? Ray Lewis with the tip. Ed Reed with the interception. Baltimore Ravens back in control. The two guys that you would expect to be the biggest factors right there on the very first play. Chan Gailey thinking, let's come out, spread the field. Exception. Beautifully timed throw, but just off the fingertip. You know, maybe in a few weeks when he gets his burst back, he'll make that play on that ball. Third down. Bills need four. All out blitz. Downfield throw. Intercepted. Ed Reed. Only great. Incomparable. Ed Reed to the nine. Season. Ryan Fitzpatrick fires. Ball is caught for a first down. From the shotgun. Hit it. Throws. Complete. To the 10 yard line. on the slant, picked off, Ed Reed, Reed to the 15, and they ever since he got here nine years ago, again, Brandon Marshall, the ball high to the inside, didn't exactly kill himself to make that catch. And Dan, what is Ed Reed uh, doing on the outside uh, of that play? Ed Reed, he just, he, because he's over the top of Brandon Marshall, that's for sure. Single high. And that's Ed Reed. Tony Gonzalez hit by Reed. Round pick in 1999. Ryan on a third down. Gonzalez, as he's been doing his whole career, first down. Reed on the tackle. Of Matt Ryan's passes, everyone except one has gone out to the right, and it is thrown in the perfect spot. Puts a move outside. Ed Reed can't quite close. Talking to Ed Reed last night. He still feels like he's in training camp. And you could. Six on third downs between five and eight. Ryan has some room. Slides. Goodson. Good block by the tight end, King. Let me see all the pressure coming from the right side. But see, look at him getting it over outside of Ray Lewis. But they're running to the. Goodson remains. Third and 11. St. Pierre intercepted. It's picked off by Reed. His fourth interception with the lateral. Landry trying to get by Cruz. Over the pylon. Touchdown! Do something special for your team. Well, the one guy you don't want to gamble against is Ed Reed. You know he's lurking back there somewhere. He's the quarterback of the defense. But watch this play. This is helping to put points on the board and slam the door shut on the opponent. Just flipping the ball over to coming through the line squared up hard to get him down. Freeman rolls off the play fake and throws. It's tipped almost intercepted by Ed Reed. The man who knows about interceptions. Ed Reed almost had another one. And he plays out of scheme on purpose. He has read this route from the get go. Look at him. I mean, he absolutely lets Aurelius Ben go to the sideline, reading the quarterback, knowing the read of the quarterback and where Josh Freeman was going to in the tight end, Kellen Winslow. Sammy Strotter in as a third wide receiver. Cadillac Williams in the backfield. Freeman throws off the hands and complete. Intended. Freeman takes time, throws deep and incomplete. Little too high for really has been. And who is there? Ed Reed. The NFL behind Mike Vick. Three tight ends in. Off the fake. Freeman throws and it's batted away. Everybody out. Freeman throws. And up for grabs, incomplete. Trying to get it to Kellen Winslow. Ed Reed was there. 
to tip it. Here's Redmond back in the game. He was hurt on the first series, and they give it to him, and Redmond gets out past the 30 to the third. Steelers. Then clean pocket and rifles the pass, and that is caught and bowling ball is in the from the 20 years Foster. Arian Foster opening carry 16. Second and 11 from his own end zone. Shot has to get rid of it behind Daniels. Made a brilliant catch. I think he said drop ball. It sure did. Shot late on that one. Well read by Ed Reed, who has made a living of taking quarterbacks, understanding what they do, and jumping routes. Oh, I love this. Watch this break by Ed Reed. He sees the outbreak back to the inside. Be careful showing the same route twice to that guy right there. He's not a student of the game. He's a professor of the game. Ed Reed is a ball hawk. Six-time Pro Bowl with 50 interceptions. He's looking for number 51 right now. Look at him. Ran well at the end of the season and has just taken off this year. That pass is caught by David Anderson. A couple of yards. Foster makes a run in here. There goes Arian Foster. 17. Job from his own end zone. Has to get out of there. And throws complete to Kevin Walter. Hamstring last week in a big game for their leading rusher. The Breeze gets it away. And just in the nick of time. And it's a flag. Maybe a late hit. Breeze. Finds Meacham for a to Cincinnati on a second and eight. Hillis. And the Ravens fly to the football with Ed Reed helping out and limiting Hill. Very close to 1,200 yards roughing, rushing. McCoy gets rid of it. And up for grabs. Intercepted by you know who, Ed Reed. And Reed is brought down at the 50. Second pick of the day for McCoy. Yeah, just, he misread the coverage. It was a double coverage on that side of the... F Ed Reed, one of the best ever at picking off the quarterback. Plus is in. Nope, make it Joshua Cribs. And Cribs able to turn the corner. They come with pressure. McCoy. Intercepted. Ed Reed has his second of the day. And Reed, weaving his way through traffic, tries to lateral it. Why? And it's recovered by Baltimore at the 29. Going deep. He's looking for Caldwell. Intercepted. Who else? Who else? Ed Reed. Brought down by Chase Kaufman. Five. Yard return. Reed has now got seven interceptions in his last ten games. Well, we talk about trusting the wide receivers. Carson Palmer's going to trust that Andre Caldwell comes down with this ball, but if it's tip and if it's an overthrow and if it's thrown to the inside of the field, Ed Reed will come down with it. Chris Carr was Pierman in the backfield. Collins with the block. Pierman's got the ball, and Reed has got Pierman. Defense. Ball on the money from Palmer, and look at the hit and near strip for Ed Reed. You know Ed Reed wants the Cincinnati drive. Palmer almost picked off by Reed again. Coming across the field. Watch him coming here. Now he's open now. Get the ball to him. Don't wait. The longer you wait, the more you put your receiver in harm's way. And I think if you would have waited a tenth of a second long. Now Lewis jumps back. In the zone, here comes the blitz by Kruger. Intercepted way. Look at this. It's Ed Reed once again. Lewis was back there. And he watches his longtime running mate Reed go the other way. And from behind, he is taken down by Pierman, the running back, for a second consecutive week. Ed Reed has intercepted a quarterback twice in one game. This one goes off the hand of the intended receiver. And Ed Reed is the best at intercepting all tips and overthrows. We already seen him pick off one earlier today that was tipped. And he's one of the best in the league, Kevin, at running and creating yards after. He's 
gets the intercept. He, uh, he is just a consummate playmaker on the defense. And Scott, he got by one defender, then Reed. Jones is the running back. Steps over one defender, Suggs. And now a third and eight. The cluster always hammered at the 50. Ed Reed saw that one. Yeah, good, good job by Ed Reed. Timing it out perfectly. You see the blitz? Here comes Ladarius Webb, number 61. Ed Reed has the running back coming out of the backfield. Boy, perfect form tackling, too. Helmet knee in the backfield to block. Mend the ball straight ahead. Short of the end zone. Oh, what a hit by Ed Reed. Oh, that's got touchdown written all over it. That, that has really, I'll guarantee you that Mendenhall can't believe he doesn't get into the end zone here. Look at that stick. On second and ten, Mendenhall out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Was that ball and out? Loose ball. And they give it to Baltimore. Have to play in regulation. Look at Ed Reed on that play. 